Well, here we go then, folks. My first repeat visit of Winner Stays On in the FA Cup this year. I am back down at Southall. They are playing against Hampton and Richmond in the second qualifying round of this season's FA Cup. You can tell we've moved on around and things are getting a little bit busier because I couldn't get in the car park today. I've had to just abandon my car out on the street. So fingers crossed it's still going to be there when we're done. But... Uh, at least there's not car thieves operating this area signs all around, everywhere. It's going to be fine. One of the big advantages I'm noticing early on about this being a, a three-peat, this is the third time I've been to see Southall, is uh, they all know who I am now. Obviously, the fan base for a club at this level, not massive. They all come to all the games and they've all seen the previous videos. So I've had lots of people say hello already, which is very, very cool. And uh, yeah, we are on our way in. I have enough cash with me this time to potentially buy myself a baseball cap at half time. I did forget to bring the pin I bought with me last time, but I'm excited. This is now the first time there's been a, a club that is playable in Football Manager in the Vanilla Database show up in this year's Cup run. Hampton and Richmond are in the uh, National League South. I'm going to fact check that, but I'm like 90% sure that's the league they're in. So it's going to be a big ask for Southall to pull off another victory. But, you know, we might be back here again in two weeks' time. I'm going to have to get a house down here if it carries on like this. So we are in another programme for the collection that we'll obviously have a look around at half time. And it does definitely seem a little bit busier than it did a couple of weeks ago. Now, I am, full disclosure, arriving slightly later than I was for the previous one. Had a little bit of car trouble on the way down. And when I say car trouble, I mean very much Kev style car trouble. Uh, my speakers weren't working properly, so I couldn't get the radio to work that's my idea of car trouble but uh yeah that caused me to stop at multiple service stations and that's why we're a little bit late but we are here i'm now wandering back round to my spot that i was in a couple of weeks ago get myself settled in guess we don't need to do it a stadium tour this is this is all new territory i've never done a repeat visit before so everything's the same as it was if you want a full stadium tour go back and watch the previous video but it is uh, it's still a nice warm summer's day despite the fact that we're now in the middle of September it is still shorts and t-shirt weather <laughs> huh thank you very much <laughs> there you go and the Hampton and Richmond guys know who I am as well there seems to be uh, way more players than either team need out there at the moment <laughs> I've never seen so many people involved in a warm-up for both teams. I thought Hampton and Richmond was just the name of the club, but I'm starting to think they might genuinely have two full squads of players out there. That is a lot, a lot of football boys. And then, of course, as we come down this way, these boys we were a lot more familiar with. Basically a season ticket holder at this point. I'm very good. Speakers through the way. Sorry, did I swear? <laughs> That's all right. I've got a bleep button. And the whole no cash thing. You've got your present. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> How's that for you? Look hey. at that. That yeah, is amazing. Right? That's very cool. Yeah, mate, that's yours. Oh, thank you very much. I'll be honest, it's probably the last time you're going to see us because they're f not bad, all right? <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. That's awesome. <laughs> um, there we go. I've got a shirt. Wasn't expecting that. That's very, very cool. Tell you what, I've said it before, I'll say it again. How cool was that? Non-league. Non-league football is just brilliant. Presented with my, uh, with my shirt. The moment, the moment I made myself visible, they were over. And that's just really, really, really cool. And very much appreciated. Non-league football is great. Southall are great. And the fact I've had so many of the players just tell me they've enjoyed the videos, players, fans, staff at the club, they're all loving it. I'm loving it. I mean, the chances of us coming back for a fourth time, seeing Southall are fairly slim, because obviously they're playing against much higher level opposition today, but come on. We all know the result we want to see today, surely. That being said, if you are from Hampton and Richmond and you did win today, I'm going to love you 
just as much when we get to the next ground, but Southall have set a very high bar here. I think that's probably the most unexpected thing about doing this series. I kind of expected it to be a lot of fun for us to go and see a lot of non-league grounds, have a lovely little tour around and make some fun content. What I didn't expect was to genuinely care. And I genuinely care. This is, this is like I'm here today watching my own team. And I didn't expect, they're trying to kill me. I didn't expect to feel like that. There's balls flying in my direction here. Probably shouldn't be wandering around behind the goal just before kickoff. It's a bad idea. I would have changed my tune immediately if that ball had hit me rather than bouncing off this little cross beam there. Look at this sunshine as well. I've driven down here listening to TalkSport whinging on the radio about how cold it is in Wolverhampton and they're having to get coats and gloves and it's 25 degrees here. I didn't realise we were so far from, is Wolverhampton even the north? But it's apparently cold up north today, not so much down here, which I imagine might factor into this a little bit because it is probably the warmest round we've been to so far, despite the fact we're now into the middle of September. There's going to be tiredness and water breaks and fatigue today, I think. Just had a lovely little chat with the chairman down here, who uh, confirmed that Hampton and Richmond are full time. So not only two divisions higher, but full time as well. Going to be uh, I've already done about five times. Going to be a challenge today, I think. But fingers, I heard someone say football manager. <laughs> We'll see. You'll be coming to our place next week. Yeah, exactly. So if we get, if, we, if I end up coming to a few matches, then yeah. we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's harsh, but I'll probably get one of those as well. <laughs> the, uh, I've just noticed as well, the, the Hampton and Richmond shirts are uh, made by Hope and Glory, the same company that I have my home shirts with. So. Fingers crossed, should be relatively easy to get hold of one if we end up going down that route. Certainly much busier here today than it was a couple of weeks ago. Even my little undercover spot here, there's already people in all the chairs. It's actually busy under there. It was basically just me under there for the last round. But it is, uh, it's nice to see it a bit busier. The one disadvantage as you might be able to see over there is the huge crowd of people for the uh, for the refreshments slash ice cream stand, which means I've not been able to get my pre-match diet coke. So, hope it doesn't get too much warmer than this. How else? Dehydration town. It'll be fine. There are balls flying towards me wherever I go. Goodness me! So here come the teams. Very much appreciate the lack of uh, copyright music being played as the teams come out. Unlike at most grounds so I can actually use this clip in its entirety. But here they are. Looks like uh, Hampton and Richmond have squad numbers, which I guess that is a National League thing, I think. So, fancy squad numbers. First time we've seen that in this year's competition. I'll actually be organised for once and get some team news on screen before the match starts as well. So, there's your Southall team. There's your Hampton and Richmond team right there. See? Organisation. You're going to get me down here again in a couple of weeks. <laughs> Tougher task this time. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> and there you go. We are off. And once again, I've picked this spot where I can barely see the goal because there's pillars in the way. We'll be fine. So we're about 10 minutes in, been fairly even so far. Um, it's pretty clear Hampton and Richmond are the, uh, the fitter, bigger, stronger team. But Southall are getting chances, one of which they've just had that has led to this corner, which is about to be whipped in. And we just have to cross our fingers and hope, don't we? Cross comes in, it's a little bit over here. But Southall have had a couple of chances. Like I say, pretty even 10 minutes in. We shall see what happens, I guess. And it's now 1-0 to Hampton and Richmond. Um, just a ball came in through. Ball forward on this right-hand side here. He rounds the keeper, tucks it away. It was pretty straightforward. Um, it's certainly 
probably fair on what we've seen in the first 10, 15 minutes or so. Interesting now to see how Southall are going to respond to it because, like I say, they had a couple of chances beforehand, but it is pretty clear that this team they're playing are from a couple of divisions higher and they need a, they need a response now. So, fingers crossed they can find a way to make a game of it. Well, it has been a nice little response so far. We're closing in on 20 minutes into this first half and the last three or four minutes have been pretty sustained Southall pressure, created a couple of chances. No real good opportunities yet and the ball currently is back up the other end, albeit with a Southall player. In fact, Hampton have got the ball back again, shooting from range and it's straight at the keeper, but definitely feels like it's all to play for at this point. Halfway through the half drinks break. It's a very warm day. Almost half time. I have my beverage in hand. They did have Apple Tango on the, on the board, but they didn't have any in there. Very disappointed. If I'd have found a football club that was doing Apple Tango, that would have been a game changer. I'd be buying a season ticket. But this is a promising move for Southall at the moment in these final few moments of this, of this first half. Shot from range. Keeper deals with it relatively comfortably, but pretty much since the goal, Southall have had the better of this. Feels like they can make a game of this in the second half. This has been the story of the last 20, 25 minutes or so. Southall just camped out in this half. They really do deserve an equaliser. Wouldn't it be nice if it came while I was filming? You wouldn't believe there was two leagues between these two teams at the moment, though. <laughs> Nearly, once again, hit by the ball. And now, literally, on the stroke of half-time, it's another Hampton and Richmond corner, and the keeper does really well to just clutch that out of the sky. And that is half-time, 1-0 to Hampton. This is, uh, this is very much game on for the second half. This is anyone still. So time for everybody's favourite feature of these videos. Of course, it is time for programme facts. And we already know from the previous round that Southall have the best programme in the tournament so far this year. We've even got a little bit of a, I want to say insert. I actually think the middle bit has just popped out, but uh, it is a proper old school programme. So my particular favourite feature. You don't see in a lot of programmes these days. I love that. That used to be in all the programmes when I was a kid. But as we've already been through this programme in the previous round, I guess the, uh, the correct thing to do is use it to learn about today's opposition, Hampton and Richmond. God, I just love the fact there's a horse's mouth section with a picture of a horse. I still don't know why. It's amazing. So Hampton and Richmond um, are in the National League South that is confirmed and they are struggling a little bit in the relegation zone they're down in 21st place nine points on the board just the two wins so far this season and looking at their recent results they have been struggling a little bit this is their first round in this year's FA Cup they enter in this second qualifying round and uh, I mean they're coming into this very much looking for a uh, looking for a result to kind of spark off their season and get themselves into some kind of form so definitely there for the taking for Southall who since the uh, since the last FA Cup round I don't think have played another league match still just the three league games played this season because in addition to this cup run and the replays attached to the cup run and um, there's also been the FA Trophy as well which is what they were playing in last weekend so uh, yeah not much going on league wise for Southall but it's very much all to play for in this second half. And I'm just having a little flick through the, uh, the Hampton and Richmond team, see if I recognise any of the names from Football Manager. I don't think I do, but there's the team news again. Um, it's probably slightly different from the actual team news. But this is just a great programme. I love this. All non-league teams should have programmes like this one. They've even got a directory of all the other teams in the competition in this round, which is great. 
another thing worth bearing in mind when it comes to the importance of the FA Cup for a team the size of Southall, um, just for playing in this round over a thousand pounds of FA Cup prize money. But if they win today, second qualifying round, three thousand three hundred seventy-five pounds, and then getting them through to the next round, that's a guaranteed almost two grand, even if they were to lose, and five and a half grand plus for winning in the next round. The prize money just ramps up and up and up the deeper you get into this competition. And obviously, for a team like Southall, who don't have their own ground to play in. That's very important. I'm pretty much in position for the second half. I've moved down to the other end of the pitch, so just going to knock the camera over, just waiting for the players to come back out now and see what happens. So here we go, then second half is underway. And as I keep saying, very much all still to play for. Almost immediately at the start of the second half, Southall have hit the post and it's led directly to this corner that's about to come in. It was a cross coming in from this right hand side that just got touched onto the post and then out to a corner. But they are very much knocking on the door, starting the second half the way they ended the first one. They definitely, definitely deserve an equaliser at this point. I don't know why the camera is focusing on my nipples rather than my eyes. But I, I kind of do. Very, very close to an equaliser there. Through on goal, one on one with the keeper, and unfortunately the ball has ended up just there. Worth noting as well, I've had to move from the spot I was in from directly behind the goal because the sun was in my eyes and I couldn't see what's going on. Their keeper has chosen not to wear a cap. Bombarding with aerial balls, but it is another corner for Southall here. But I think that's another one from the other side, isn't it? Apparently not. This is why I'm not the linesman. Another big, big chance. It was the Southall number seven who got in again. One on one with the keeper. Um, this time kind of drives it goalwards. Keeper had to intercept. There's a big collision between the keeper and one of the Southall players. They're both down at the moment. But that looks like the route to goal at the moment. That Southall left hand side, the number seven, he's dangerous. He's got the beating of their right back. That's got to be the uh, got to be the plan, surely. Big blow for Southall because the uh, the centre forward, the number eight, who was one of the key men in the previous round, has looked lively again today. Has just stayed down after that collision with the goalkeeper. He's being helped back to the uh, back to the changing rooms now by a couple of substitutes. He does not look in a good way, knee problem of some kind, and uh, he's kind of the, the focal point of the Southall attack. They've got the two wingers that play off him. And he's the one who is there in the middle, holding up play, just causing a general nuisance of himself, scored in the previous round. And that is going to be a big miss. They've made a substitution, but it looks like they've actually shuffled things around a little bit as well, because it looks like there's a number 17 who's now playing central midfield. And the number nine, who had been out on the right, seems to have got into the middle for the time being. I don't know if that's just the way they're lining up currently or a permanent change but yeah he is uh, he's still not made it as far as that far corner flag he's not come off towards the bench the bench is over this side change rooms over that side he's being taken straight that way I heard the physio call back to the bench saying his knee has popped which is not a good thing as someone who's had popped knees before you don't want your knee popping with the amount of stoppage time we've had for that, I don't even know how far into the second half we are now. It's 25 past four, we're probably only about 10 minutes into the second half, but that has taken a lot of the, uh, a lot of the momentum away from Southall, I fear. That, boys and girls, is your equaliser right there. Lovely stuff. I'm good. <laughs> I am, yeah. Oh, excellent. Very cool. <laughs> Ball forward. Number nine gets there before the goalkeeper just heads it over him. It felt like it took a painfully long time for that ball to cross the line, but it did. It's one all. There's probably... With stoppage time, 15 minutes to go, 10, 15, there you go, I'm getting, getting the time cues for over here. But yeah, that is game on. It, I mean, it's absolutely what they've deserved. Whatever might happen from here. I'd quite like to see a result in one of these cup matches at some point this season. 
and not miss all the action in the replay again. So I'm ready for another goal. That was lovely stuff. Always nice having the celebration right in front of me as well. Well, these last couple of minutes, we're starting to see a little bit of attacking intent from Hampton Richmond for the first time in a, about an hour and a half. Um, they've got a corner at the moment, so let's spin you round. I don't know how much of it you're going to be able to see from all the way over here. Probably more than me, because I can zoom you in. But Cross comes in, it would be harsh to concede from here, and they do not. I mean, there's not a lot you can do about that, is there? What a goal. My word. There's no more than a couple of minutes left. That's almost certainly the winner, but like I say, absolutely nothing you can do about that. That's a goal at any level of football. That was, what a hit. It does feel a little bit early in the match to be doing the Southall obituary, but I think they probably are done now. It just absolutely knocked the stuffing out of him. As you can imagine, conceding a goal like that so late on when they've dominated the match and certainly deserved the draw, if not the, the route into the next round. We've got a couple of minutes left. Worth remembering, as sad as I'm going to be to say goodbye to Southall, this is exactly how they became our team with a last minute robbery of a winner against Bearstead, what seems like forever ago now. So. We can only hope that Hampton and Richmond go on to go on a bit of a mad one from here and create some of the drama and excitement that we've had from Southall. And I, I mean, they're on the attack here. I'm stopping the obituary midway through because you never know. This would be a moment if they could grab another equaliser here. It seems so unlikely against the team from the two divisions higher. I'll keep emphasising that, because it shows just how well Southall have done. But it doesn't look like it's coming. Although, once again, they just seem to want it more. They're the first to everything, but they are shattered now. It's been such a warm day. My, uh, my big hope, my big dream now, is that they get an away draw in the next round, because I've looked where Hampton and Richmond play, and that looks like an absolute nightmare for me to get to, so and away draw somewhere in the Midlands, please. <laughs> and then still go on a run. I'd love to have, well, I've enjoyed having a repeat visit. I'd love, to, I'd love to have another run of a couple of matches, really get to know a team. It's certainly adding to the enjoyment of this year's FA Cup run for me, but for goodness sake, away from home, because <laughs> looks like a nightmare <laughs> to actually get to. The, uh, we've not had an easy journey yet. I'd like an easy journey. I don't even know at what, 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 what point the draws stop being regionalised, but certainly away from home, somewhere in the Midlands, please and thank you. Final chance, maybe. The whistle must be any second now, you would think, unless I don't know how long a half of football is supposed to be, but Southall are on the attack. One more time. Have they got a magical FA Cup moment in them? They just need to get the ball in the box. As much as I enjoy this passing play, I don't think they've got time for it. Just get the ball into the box. They've got the big men forward. Just get it in there, gamble, see what happens. Somebody needs to hit a cross. Here comes the cross. It's a bit too deep, but there is someone at the far post, but he can't get it back across. Right, they need to just sling this into the area as if it was a corner. Get the keeper forward. Get everyone in there. We are going for the big long throw. Keepers. Keeper's not all the way up, but he's basically in this half. Getting ready to join in with the celebration. Lovely long throw, and it's uh, relatively easy for the keeper to deal with. And that is your full-time whistle. I mean, Southall have given it absolutely everything there. They have done incredibly well. They didn't look out of place playing against a team two divisions higher than them. And I think they have every right to feel a little bit hard done by to have not come away with at least a replay from that. But you can't begrudge losing to a goal like that winner too much, can you? It was an absolutely incredible effort, incredible finish. I have really, really enjoyed following Southall through these last few rounds. Hopefully, we can have as much fun with Hampton and Richmond, but it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a shame not to, not to come back to this place. This has been good, but 
Hopefully I'll be able to park my car at the next one. <laughs> well, again, looking at the map, I don't know that I'm going to be able to even take my car to Hampton. I, uh, I might be getting the train for that one, and I hate getting the train. Away draw, please. And there they are. Great effort. But I guess I need to leg it because I've just abandoned my car in the street. Just on my way out the ground, I've just met um, a group of four people, two adults, a couple of kids, who've been following along since Wembley as well. And they said they've just met someone else who's been following along since Wembley. So there's at least six of us who've been following this through since Wembley. And we'll be back in a couple of weeks for Hampton and Richmond. So not only is it winner stays on, YouTube rules. It's also last man standing between the six of us. They are, they are fully intending to get through all the way through to the final as well. So it's going to be fun. But we are now heading back to the car. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, folks, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on it for me. Subscribe to the channel to, uh, to see where we end up next in a couple of weeks. The draw should be happening within 24 hours or so of this video coming out. Obviously, I've got my daily football manager videos as well in between all of that but for now thank you very much for watching and i need to check that my car is still there do the whip